Day three of classes will get underway this morning for NOLA public schools as district leaders continue, of course, in their own right to dealing with this boil water advisory. And to that point, officials tell us that they already had a plan in place in the event water was compromised. Winston Reed is joining us now with more on that and breaking down their plan, which they say is working lots mm -hmm. of bottles of bottled water for sure. That's exactly. NOLA public schools are no stranger to boil water notices, but this is a, you know, a curveball for the first week of classes uh, going kicking back into session. Uh, during an advisory, the school district limits its contact with all tap water sources. Hand sanitizer is readily available. Water fountains will be blocked off or covered at all schools. The kitchen staff at schools are encouraged to limit its use of tap water as well. Kitchen staff may also use canned food over fresh food that needs to be washed. Because we're in the middle of hurricane season, LaDuff says the school district has plenty of water bottles on hand and they're able to restock if needed. We're looking at it. We work with our, our, our CMOs, our charter management organizations, um, and they have their partners that they ensure that to make sure those, those water bottles are replenished in time and just in case we have to have another emergency event. Uh, where we're going to need those. Um, but as far as uh, the the Leah Chase School, our, our first direct run school in some time, uh, we're going to ensure the district will make sure that uh, they are properly outfitted with enough water. That was NOLA Public Schools Chief Operating Officer Don LaDuff. And coming up at 6, LaDuff will join us live here on WWL Louisiana to speak with our Brandon Walker.